Hi everyone, so second example, this one, second grade, uh, last lesson within the second kinematic fact. So a car and a train are running parallel at the same speed of 20 metres a second. When the car decelerates for a set of lights which are on red, the car comes to rest after three seconds, stops for 30 seconds, and accelerates back up to 20 seconds, reaching a speed of water, reaching the speed, oh, sorry, yeah, reaching it after 100 metres. Right. Sketch it. Sketch for the car. So I've got my velocity in metres per second. Starts off at 20 and decelerates. Zip. You'd expect it to say decelerates at a constant rate, really. This isn't going to be very to scale. <laughs> uh, three seconds. Stays for 30 seconds. So like that. So that's now going to be 33. And then goes back up to 20. Back up to 20. Bang. Time two. Right then. That's time. So it says find the distance between the car and the train when the car is back up to full speed. Ah, got you. The 100 metres after the light. So the area of that is 100 metres. Uh, so that will allow me to find out what the, the time is. So I can find the time with that. Right, so first of all, let's do the... The total distance then. So for a car distance, it'll be a half base times height plus the 100 meters from the other bit. So a car's distance will be, what's that going to be? So that's going to be 30, 130 metres. Right then. For the car, for the time it would take it to speed back up, uh, it would be 100 over 20, so it would take you five seconds to get there. Uh, yeah. So that mean, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's not true at all because it's a triangle, not a rectangle. Ah, you did not I'll have to double that, I did 10. <laughs> I was doing it as a rectangle. So the 100 is a half times by a time times by 20. So it would be 10 seconds from the time. So that there is 43 seconds. No, what I did, that's ridiculous. Just making things up here. I forgot to half it. I was doing a, re a, a rectangle, not a triangle. Right, so 43 seconds is when the car's back up to full speed. So car to full speed at 43 seconds. And that's where I'm interested in. I want now the, uh, the distance of the train. So the train has been going at a solid 20 meters per second for 43 seconds. So that must mean that's been traveling 413, uh, no it's not. Uh, 20, that's it. What am I doing here? This is why I shouldn't do stuff on a lens. This is why I should do it. I make so many mistakes there. Well, speed's 20, 860 meters. Where did that time from? So the difference in the distances would be 860 minus 140. See, look! Oh, you have to watch me. You have to kind of like do like a lag thing to make sure I don't make too many mistakes. Or maybe I should just slow down. There. There we go. Oh, right. So that's part B done. Part C says if the train passes a bridge at the instant that the traffic lights turn green, Find the time from this instant 
until the car reaches the same bridge. Right then. So let's think this through. <sighs> the lights turn to green here. That's when the lights turn to green. The lights were on red there. So at 33 seconds, that's when the lights were green. So lights, green at 33 seconds. So the distance that the train had gone, I'll try and get this one right this time, was 20 times 33, which is 660 meters. Right then. Now the car sets off. Now what I've not got that done here yet, so that's when it reaches full speed. And then I've got this time where it's at 20. And eventually it will get to the bridge. Now, hmm, the area of this has to be the same as the 660, because that's where the bridge is. So the bridge is 660. So his total distance to getting up to full speed was 130. So for the car, like the extra distance will be 660 minus the 130 to get me back up to full speed. So that's 530. Right now then, for that, if I work out the time, so I'm going to work out the time of this bit here. So, so far to there, the car has done 5 minutes. Uh, 5.30 metres to there. And then when it gets here, it's 6.60 metres. So I know the difference is 130 metres, and I know I've been going at 20. So the time would be 5.30 divided by 20. So the time it will take is 26.5 seconds at full speed. So if the train passes the bridge at the instant the traffic lights turn green, find the time from the instant until the car reaches the same bridge. Now that 26.5 is the time for going at full pace. So I think, if I've got this right, that there is my full speed. There. So I reckon then, the lights turn to green there, so I've got an extra 10 seconds on that, if that's right. So actual time from the green lights Thirty-six point five seconds. And that could be an error in the pack. I'm going to stop there because that's on. God, it's on nine minutes. Sorry, everyone. <laughs>